Hello, this is Brian Turner with VWDiesel.net, and today we are going to be going over the auto scan function of VCDS. We are using release 1570 with a USB hex cam controller. The program is loaded. We are going to use auto scan, and once you select that, the window pops up. The first thing we're going to do is select the chassis type. Now we are using a 2001 Beetle on this, which is a 9C. And you get this 9C or AG or 1C code by looking at the VIN number on the dash. And you count to the 7th or the 8th digit, or the 7th and the 8th digit, and that will give you this code here. These, uh, where it says New Beetle Cabrio 03 to 010, are more guidelines to go by. And go ahead and check your VIN. Uh, most of the time these are good, but it's better to double check. Now they have these divided up this way because not every vehicle has the same modules on it, so they um, group them together by the most appropriate ones. You can see that they have these modules listed here. If you have a newer vehicle that has um, full CAN capabilities, you don't have to worry about that. It will auto-detect it. And then with these two checks, you can always leave these checks. If you uncheck the display freeze frame data, it will kind of clean up some of the clutter on there. Uh, but I always leave it checked. So we're going to go ahead and start it. And this process takes five to ten minutes. So it's best just to let it sit and go do something else and come back when it dings that it's done. And that is what we are going to do. All right, our scan is complete. I'd like to also mention here that you might want to put your char your car on a slow charger uh, because this process does take a little while. It's good to have a fully charged battery um, going into it or to put it onto a charger because the lights stay on, the headlights stay on, the accessories and stuff can stay on. Um, so it's just good to have it on a charger. Now. Looking at this, nothing really pops up here. I've done a previous scan on this vehicle in the past. Um, but you can see here the instruments. You can see the subsection, the sub thing, uh, <coughs> sorry, the subsystems there. Um, if you go here to the central convenience, you see the different subsystems in there. You see the fault codes there for the exterior heated mirrors. And here with this red label, you can double click on that and that will pull you up into the controller for the central convenience module. And then you can go ahead and clear the codes there, make other changes in that module while you're there. So once we go through and look at everything, we see all the fault codes that we have. We are going to copy the results into Notepad. This is just a personal preference that I do. You can save them through VCDS itself but I find this is easier and faster just to open up Notepad, copy and paste them over there versus saving them, going to the folder that it has saved in, and then opening it up. Um, and then now that that's all done, we are going to clear all the DTCs. This process also takes a few minutes, so it's good to let it sit. All right, the clear is done. You can see that all the codes have been cleared out so far. And if you are troubleshooting a car to try to, if you've bought it new, or if you are troubleshooting faults that you have and you want to see what keeps coming back, it's a good idea to close out of this. Yes, we want to. Exit VADCOM, turn the car off, pull the key out of the ignition, and then start the process all over again. That way you see what pops up over again, and you know that you can look for those codes first, uh, try to troubleshoot those problems and just makes makes life easier working with your Volkswagen. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, or would you, if you would like to see something else, please feel free to leave it in the section below, and we will do our best to help you out. Once again, this is Ryan Turner with VWDiesel.net. Thank you very much, and have a good day.